So maybe you have a favorite uh, restaurant with an amazing patio or deck or maybe even a rooftop. And you know how you get those, fun, I call them fun foods, they're usually finger foods and that sort of thing. So the recipes that I'm going to share with you today, because I just discovered some of these items, if you can believe this, but I'm going to share an amazing guacamole. It's tangy, it's tasty, it's it's delicious. <laughs> and, uh, also, I'm going to share with you um, some quesadillas and all of these are easy what you can make at home so the next time you're thinking oh you know what I don't want to drive and I don't want to drink and drive or I don't want to spend the money or whatever you're gonna be able to do this at home so uh, that's gonna help you out with this and if you don't like guacamole I didn't think I did I thought guacamole was really really bland you got to try this recipe it's absolutely delicious and the other thing is a lot of times when Bill and I are on a, on a patio at a restaurant or whatever we want to get the sangria but they want to give you like a a massive jug like this of sangria and uh, you know it's just not conducive to us driving or anything so I'm going to show you how to make a jug of sangria at home it's really really easy peasy and you know that's the way my recipes are I'm not a chef or anything I just figure out a way to make some of my favorite foods that I try out in these restaurants and now I'm going to show them to you so uh, let's start with the guacamole and remember in case you fast forward on this avocados are really good for you. Alright, so I said I'm not really a chef, but you know what? I've been making full turkey dinners since I was in my 20s, so I get by. Just, I'm a little bit, um, let's say, unconventional when it comes to how I cook, so uh, you know, do your professionalism, but uh, this is how I cook, so hopefully you'll take that with a grain of salt. Now, this guacamole. Like I said, even if you just want to try to get your avocado intake, try it. It's, uh, it's a great inexpensive recipe. So what I do with the avocado is I just make sure they're kind of firm, not firm, sort of a little squishy. I think that's what the word is, what I'm looking for, a little squishy. And what I do is, look at the knife I'm using, I'm sorry. I'm using a steak knife. Now, you guys are cringing, I know, but I've always got a steak knife available and uh, I find these serrated edges, they really, really help. So we're going to cut down to where the little, that little ball in there, where the little ball is. All right, and we'll put that little guy over there. Notice how I've got some uh, paper towels laid out because then when I'm finished with them, I just wrap everything up. Again, let's try this one. Now, if you cut through it and it's really black on the inside, oh, that's got a little, man, how did I know that already? Um, really black on the inside, you may not want to use it. Now, this isn't too bad. I can sort of dig those items, those uh, areas out. So I'm still going to say a lot of that is a go. And let's try this one. Now, really, I could probably have two avocados for this dinner um, or this snack or whatever you want to call it. But you know what? I'm going to go with three just in case I open one up and it's like, ah, I'm not going to use that one. So one avocado is not going to make, uh, not going to make it. So you know, I wasn't concentrating. <laughs> We're a little off with this, but that's not, oh, maybe that's good. I can show you. Just pop that little ball out of there. Come on, baby. There you go and out it goes. Now, as far as um, getting what's in there out of there, I just use another spoon and this is so easy. We just, look at that, pretty well falls right out of there. Scoop up some of the guacamole. Let's do this one. Now this is still soft enough to use. You don't want them too hard either. You want to sort of see some of this green in here. That's good. Just what I do is I kind of pile them all into each other. You don't want to make it too um, there. That's easier. I use the fork as the second part here. I may not have my own recipe TV show, guys, but I hope you're enjoying this on the YouTube channel. There we go. Okay, so that's that. And if you want to get some of the the bigger bits out, that's when you use the fork. But you don't want to make it really smooth. You want to have a few of those chunks out there because uh, 
I don't know. It, the texture is just much nicer. Now, I started growing my own herbs in the garden and baseball well, not in the garden I actually put them in the gazebo uh, where it's a little bit shady because I found that putting them out in the sun they were all dying on me so this is cilantro what is it called again coriander cilantro and um, I've picked a little bit of it right there and I have washed it and we're going to put a little bit of uh, cilantro in there. Now, can you put in the powdered cilantro? Yeah, you can, but you know what? It's just not as tasty, so if you can get the real deal. I know they also serve it in little packets at a lot of um, grocery stores as well. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Cilantro, I think, really makes it. So I'm just going to put some sea salt. Little, that's about it. I like a little bit of pepper, and I'm gonna put in ground pepper. Um, you might want to have some chilies or something hotter. That's not my taste, but um, there we go with that. Also, what I like to put in mine are... Um, uh, oh, let's just wipe that down a bit. Again, you're going to cringe when you see how I do it to me, um, an onion, but I'm just going to do this. Okay. Ah! Onions are good for you. And then what do I do? I just, <laughs> I just kind of do this, chopping it up. I know you can just sort of go like this and pile it up and, and go like that as well. And a lot of people are just amazing choppers. Um, for me, I got to watch my fingers stay on and uh, this is my style. Again, it might be a little chunky, but sometimes you get those little bits of onion and uh, they're quite delicious. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. All right. Now, what you can also do is you could put some tomato in here if you wanted to. I got a leftover tomato right here. It's just from yesterday. So let me just do that. Usually they say to get rid of the seeds, but um, again, not going to be that fancy. It still all tastes delicious. And we're going to chop that baby up a bit. I'm getting an end of a tomato. I would have done a better job if I was cutting right into a tomato, but I'm just doing an end here. And that little bit of refreshing tomato will really, really help this as well. Okay, off it goes. <laughs> smell this. It smells amazing. So now what I want to add is a little bit of lime juice. And what I found is I put in the lime juice out of a, a that's about a tablespoon, out of these little um, lime juice bottles. But there's nothing like a real lime. So what I do is I add that, but then I really sort of squish in here with a spoon just look at that juice just oh and there is a difference in the taste from a, a real lime to uh, you see that from a real lime then I just sort of squish the rest there you go all right so um, depending on your taste and I'm gonna make sure this is nice and clean before I put it into something else um, depending on your taste I always like to put some garlic. You could put some real garlic in there. But for me, again, I'm usually so busy, um, unless I'm making a Caesar salad or something, the chopped is fine. I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon in there. What do you think of my measuring things, right? <laughs> and now, oh my gosh, we have got a delicious, and I mean delicious, you might want to put a little less onions in yours or no tomatoes or whatever, but uh, don't forget the, the real cilantro. It's such an important ingredient there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this in the fridge and then I'm going to show you the next step. So time for the sangria. And I would suggest getting yourself a nice kind of glass uh, pitcher like this. It really looks nice, but um, all right. So I'm going to use some fruit that is frozen, 
Um, yes, you could cut all the, um, you know, the, the fruits and everything that are fresh, but for me, I have had sangria in a glass and usually the fruit is so mushy anyway, so I thought to myself, you know what, why not show my favorite subscribers <laughs> and everybody else out there um, how I just use the frozen because, you know, these are flash frozen, so they really still have a lot of the nutrients and everything in them. So again, my uh, very unconventional way of cooking, but I get the job done. Just going to throw a few strawberries in there. Something else that's really good for you are blueberries. So we're going to throw some blueberries in there. What do you think of my measuring, eh? <laughs> oh, it's whatever we, I feel that we'd like to, oh, okay, so that was a little bit much. I do have my trusty spoon here. Take that. <laughs> oh, what about some pineapple? Pineapple is really, really good for men and women to eat, so uh, we'll just, ooh, this time I'm scooping it out with a spoon so I don't have any uh, catastrophic <laughs> problems there. That's, that's enough for this. The, um, okay, so we got all that going, and now I use a little, you know, these small cans of, um, this is just 7-Up. You can also go uh, like a lemon-lime sort of thing, hopefully. This doesn't spray all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, it'll be my luck, eh, Bill? <laughs> Maybe I shook it. <laughs> no, thanks a lot. No, we made it through. Anyway, I just put one of those little cans in there. Mm. There we go. I also like to put a bit of orange juice in there. Uh, this is pulp. This adds a little bit more of taste and it's also getting my servings of fruit that I might need for the day. All right, so I also, um, for this one, you can do a red wine if you want. For this one, I am using a white wine. Um, this one is a Sauvignon Blanc. You could also have maybe a Pinot Grigio, a really nice uh, white wine, or whatever your taste is for wine. So here we go. Say when, Bill. <laughs> okay, Bill's not saying when. I think I'm gonna say when. Um, Stir that baby up a little. Oh, it's not looking nice. And that is looking lovely, except we forgot something. We forgot to put the ice in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ice in when I'm ready to serve it. Right now, what I want to do is I want to put this in the fridge. I want some of these big strawberries. You could also have sliced strawberries as well if you wanted to. But I want to make sure that a lot of these strawberries kind of mush up a little bit. I don't want to bite into them and break my teeth because they're too frozen. So. Uh, that goes in the fridge, and let's get into the quesadillas. So now it's time for the quesadillas. And what I usually do is I use, this happens to be a George Foreman grilling machine here, and uh, I just love it. It's a really, really good size. I mean, you can make all kinds of things on it, but uh, quesadillas and steaks and hamburgers is just great. Oh, and by the way, what I'll do is in the first, in the description rather, I will link back to our blog and I'll try to find one of those if I can and if you want to purchase, I, there's not a lot that I can tell you about but uh, some of the items, I'll even try to find one of those big jugs for the sangria. So I can hear that crackling away there, it's heating up and what I would like to do is I like to use the large wraps, you just buy them at um, usually any grocery store and can you do this, I'm going to be doing this on this grill. Can you do this in a great big frying pan? Yeah, but um, really be careful on the flipping. It's kind of like flipping an omelet or something. It's not, uh, not as easy as it looks. I just have a little bit of um, olive oil here that I'm going to put on this wrap. Now, obviously, I'm going to make two wraps because, Bill, you're hungry back there, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do this one to my taste. And we just put that on there, and then I just kind of open this baby up and flip it like that, and just leave it there for a second. Now I'm going to put another one of these oils on real quick on this one here, because I'm going to be kneading that in just a minute. So open her up again. 
and we are going to now put on a little bit of, uh, we grate this ourselves, we don't buy the pre-grated, so we just grated some, this is old cheddar cheese, you could use a Monterey Jack or whatever cheese you want to use, um, put that on there. It's really easy. We want to do this fairly quick because, um, yeah, you want to make sure that that one side doesn't get really cooked more than the other. I like a little bit of garlic on mine too, so I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, garlic on. It's a little, try not to put too much. Yeah, that's great. Okay, um, also I like, these are yellow peppers. You could use green peppers or red peppers. The yellow ones and the red ones really look nice for color. So I'm going to use my fingers here and kind of just put those on there. Again, the quicker you can do this, the better. Um, onions. I know we have the onions and the guacamole, but I don't know, they're so good for you, onions, so... And I use the red onions. I find that they're a little, uh, a little more tasty than just the, the yellow onions there. Now, for the chicken. You know when you go to the store and you buy one of these chickens? Well, we had the chicken last night with gravy and scallop potatoes and all that sort of thing. But I just bought the chicken because uh, it was one of those nights where we just rushed all over the place. But what I did here is I chopped up the chicken. That's Hurricane. Somebody at the door, but it's okay. We'll just ignore it. He's getting hungry too. I think so. I'm not too sure about that dog. All right. So uh, I think he's thinking to himself he didn't get into the video yet. So he wants to uh, make sure he makes himself known. And there we just use that chicken from uh, the store-bought chicken. I like it a lot better than that chicken that you buy in the packages because this is a fresh chicken. There's not um, a lot of preservatives. And I also make sure that I bought the um, I bought the organic chicken as well. So there we go. Flatten that down there. I push it in a bit. Um, this also comes with a little tray like this. It's really important if you're doing steaks or hamburgers. And it just goes underneath there and did I forget anything? Not really. I've added some hot sauce here because some people like it a little hot. Um, you also could also put the, um, you know, peppers, uh, chili peppers on it. But um, what I like to do with the hot sauce is when it's all done, that's when I'm going to kind of uh, grab the hot sauce. And, uh, and now we wait. So it's been about uh, two minutes or so, and we'll take a look. You can see how nicely brown that is. Now I'm going to move it forward a bit so I can flip it all the way out because, uh, there we go. And what I'm going to do is use these flippers and kind of, as you can see, I've moved the plate a little closer. Real easy. That just goes there. So what I'm going to do is, with a pizza cutter, I just cut these babies. And they're a little bit more crispy on the outside because of that um, oil that we put on them. I just put them like this. And they are cooked right through the one side and then the thing that I love about that grill I never had to flip them you can see the underside can you see that bill it's all cooked as well so for the uh, now I'm getting too close to the serving laying out all the food and everything so for the guacamole I found this like at a dollar store I thought it was a really cute little guacamole bowl so you know if you're gonna do this thing do it upright maybe it just makes it more fun and I'm just gonna put the uh, guacamole in there and remember, because that looks kind of, you know, not so nice to be putting as a serving bowl. And you could put even a little piece of cilantro on top. You know, I really try, Bill and I really try to, I don't know, make it kind of special in the evenings because we work so hard during the day. And if I am cooking, which I'm usually doing about five days a week, um, I really try to make it kind of special and this hardly takes any time because look at I'm using the leftovers of the chicken in that but uh, we're gonna sit out there in the gazebo and oh by the way um, we did a video on how we made up this gazebo we absolutely love it it's keeping all the bugs out and uh, 
you know, all that kind of stuff and it keeps the shade on, the rain away. So I'm going to put up there how we built that gazebo because we're going to go hopping into it in just a minute. And I need a little spoon for the um, guacamole there. Also, Bill would be absolutely starving if I showed you how to make salsa. So <laughs> I'm just going to, uh, I usually buy this store-bought salsa. Um, not out of a jar, it's kind of like a little more like a homemade and so I'm going to put, oh it's so good too, I'm going to put that salsa out for us and again the bugs won't uh, touch us because we're screened in patio. Also we like to have um, some sour cream, so I'm going to put some sour cream out there, that should be enough for us for, for tonight. So we are ready, I'm going to put the hot sauce out as well and in just a few minutes I'll show you what we have. So we're in the gazebo and we're ready to serve. This is kind of a lighter dinner for us and as you see I put the guacamole on the plate here and truth be told we have some um, uh, what do you call these things? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, restaurant style nachos. And uh, truth be told, as I was cooking up the quesadillas, we're kind of digging into uh, this sort of thing. So that's a little extra as you're sort of cooking up there. Um, also, I've poured the, I really don't want to have the stemmed wine glasses out here. So I poured them into uh, stemless wine glasses. And oh, wait, since it's a light dinner, and it is a night where I do have um, my desserts. As you know, on the weekends I have my desserts. I got a lovely frozen key lime pie just thawing out here, which is gonna be delicious. Hot sauce, oh, sorry about that. And uh, salsa, and we're all set to go. I'll probably, when I'm serving this, I'll probably put the little salsa there and use my own. Do you see a little hurricane over there? Hey, hurricane. He's in uh, Bill's chair, but uh, we got another chair for him, so we'll be able to do that. And like I said, you know what? Make it special. Uh, I've said it before, we only have so many summers, and you know, we've got to make the most out of every day. And so I even put out some really pretty little, um, they're paper, but some really pretty little napkins, and I think we're going to have uh, a lovely di little dinner here. And talking about lovely, Hello, my lovelies out there, all you awesome ones. Um, all the subscribers, thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying this kind of leg of, uh, of our channel where, like I said, we're not chefs or anything, but we just want to share some of the things we really enjoy to eat. Uh, food is fun, and this is kind of a fun food as well. Um, again, these type of videos, lifestyle, inspirational, that sort of thing, are on Tuesdays, and the beauty and fashion on our, are on Fridays. And if you are a subscriber, beside the subscriber um, button down there is a bell. So if you click on the bell, you'll be able to uh, go ahead and, and see the videos as they come up. They just will ring a bell or something and let you know. <laughs> anyway, um, until next time, you know, life is a banquet. Enjoy and enjoy all these wonderful different tastes that maybe you haven't tried before. And until next time, keep it awesome. Bill, guess what? What? We're going to eat now. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs>